So welcome back to another Arky9 tutorial and today you can see it's a little bit different. So Arky9 Learn, so what does this mean? It means we have a different platform, more dedicated to teaching. Uh, we've separated the waters. We hope to bring you more artists as well. We'll have different content. So we're gonna have some premium downloads, some great references, and it's really something to follow. So make sure to subscribe so you keep up to date with all the latest info and yeah, keep your thoughts coming through for new videos. We will have masterclasses, courses, and a lot of goodies. So keep in touch, follow us on Facebook or on the website and um, enjoy this tutorial that's going to be about how to change out skies and just simple lighting effects that you can do and change an image in very, very quick timeline. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, my name is Pedro and look forward to teaching you some more. So welcome to our next tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about something super interesting, which is skies, mood, and lighting and how these three connect. These are probably the most important substance of an image and they all interconnect. Now, as you can see on screen, we have a picture that last year um, I illustrated live at State of Art Academy. So this is, was a live talk, a one hour talk. And I thought it'd be great to kind of use this as a base um, to, to teach you a little further in regards to skies. Now, I've altered this a little bit uh, to basically just show you how how to light this uh, very easily and uh, how to get to a kind of a final step very quickly in terms of mood, lighting, and sky. So on screen, uh, I thought it'd be really interesting to kind of show you this duality that we're always having with architects um, and any clients that come. Uh, we always try and propose something a little further on. We try to go in somewhat of a different mood and we always try to convince people that this would work. And I hope this video kind of convinces all our future clients. <laughs> Uh, so as you can see on the left, we have um, somewhat of a more uh, more dramatic image, if you could call it. So we're you know we're starting to compose things with our skies, where they're giving us a certain color grading and a certain tone. And on the right, we're having somewhat of a more traditional blue sky. But nonetheless, this also expresses forms in different way, and also helps to really kind of have that light and shadow uh, play. Now I wanna show you something that I thought would be also really interesting and I found online. So we have this two pictures that basically, if you look at from a thumbnail level, tell a very similar story. On your right, you have um, Spaff. I was nearly changing these two around. And on your left, you have a Rembrandt. Now Rembrandt was a master of dramatic painting. So the, indeed, these are both beautiful and they, they also have this, um, this capacity to storytell through light and, um, and through these dramatic skies and this dramatic feeling and tone that they have. And I thought that would be great references for us to, to kind of move along with our image. Now, let's get into it. Now, I've imported in our skies and um, this was just a very quick uh, search online and I thought it'd be really amazing to, to, to you know, introduce some clouds and and some storytelling uh, with these guys now the first thing I actually did was uh, let's just try and see what we can do just with a quick levels change um, and I think sometimes y you get amazed by just how much a quick levels change does with your skies and just the, the power that this has to, to kind of change everything. I mean, this could, you know, taking out this left, this could, could almost go to a night shot. I could kind of fudge this around. And I wanna show you just exactly where the raw render is at, because I think that's also important. So you see that this was all basically painted and I'll just flip through this so you can see the various stages and your initial raw render. Now, the, the most important aspect about this is not limiting your imagination or your creativity. Do not set yourself just because you have a render in that mood that you cannot uh, and you, you can't draw on this and that you can't do it. As you can see, this is almost, it is a, a sunset, but you can really make it a proper dawn, duskish, whatever type of shot you want. So let's get into those skies. Now, first thing I wanna do is uh, really to start to think about, and I'll just move this over here. It's no importance for now. We will only use a soft brush 
uh, so there's not much interest in that. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm starting to, to look at things from a kind of a drawing point of view. And let me even flip that around to see how this can function. Now, I don't think flipped will work too well, but let's put this on screen mode. So we have a kind of a, a screen and letting in the light. Now that's already looking really nice. Now in levels, let's just, I wanna kind of get a vignette in this. Let's go that, let's make that vignette and that's that's already bringing something through. Now let's desaturate the color totally. Let's just bring this below the sky so we can have our sky, new sky introduce color. And already if you look at this, there's already a mood here. There's already a different mood and we haven't even started playing too much. Now these guys, these are particularly nice because uh, just of the drawing they have, they really help tell a story here. And um, I'll just grab my brush and you can see just how this kind of works. This is really silhouetting the form of our building. Now, architectural visualization is one of those things. It's, it's relatively simple when you can do whatever you want. The problem is actually mastering uh, these techniques in a professional situation where you can actually use them. But already I think this guy is really coming to life. So let's get back into our sky. Let's take it down a notch. Let's take it down, maybe like that. And again with the soft brush, again, remember we're just using soft brush and nothing else. So we're going for the most simple of the simple here and just brush in or brush out the other skies. So we start to have an overlap of skies. Now, I think that that's somewhat working, don't you? I mean, let's flip this around. Remember, it's always great to get a new perspective on things. So let's flip it around. I think, yeah, it's coming through. Let me flip that again another way. Yes, that is definitely working. I did one previously, let's see. I think that might be working even a little better because you get that light right here. Now, as you can see, there's kind of a problem here, right? And that problem is that we have this beautiful sky, but it seems that here is lacking some intensity. Now I'll black and white it, and you can see, yeah, definitely, it's going all to the sky and not on our left. So. A lot of people ask me, you know, how do you how do you paint light? And painting light is very simple. It's just using something in an overlay mode, screen mode, dodge mode, and it's just about understanding and finessing your skills to understand that you need to to bring out those values. So it's there's no secrets in this. It's all about drawing. Um, so I'm going to paint on just with a soft brush, uh, and you can see I've got my soft brush up here. And I'm just, even in black and white mode, I have not even added any color. And I'm bringing out those values. And those values are really starting to, to, to sing for me and really making the form of the building come alive. Now, as you can see, very simply, just with a sky and one layer, we've changed a whole image. So I haven't even color graded it. I haven't done anything to it. It's just two images and a bit of a grade on the sky and we can change your whole image. That's the impact that a sky has. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also our website, arc9learn.com. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Check out other tutorials that we've worked on and altogether we hope to really um, make something that different for the field and more dedicated to post-production and actually shows people how you can quickly do something without all the worry and fuss of uh, 10 million settings. So my name is Pedro, it's been my pleasure and catch you on the next one. Cheers.